Uh, thank you, Daniele, and uh, uh, thank you, Cedric, and uh, OW2 uh, for uh, giving me this opportunity to be again uh, with you uh, uh, on this conference. Um, uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, patterns, about software governance with uh, SysTech. Um, I'm a software architect, and in uh, 2013, uh, my CTO asked me to, uh, to provide a um, a stack which uh, could uh, give a new shape of our information system of uh, our application. So, at that time, um, the the task was huge. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, business constraints uh, because in PSA we have a lot of uh, business. We have uh, manufacturing, we have uh, research and development, we have retail, we have uh, human resources. And uh, uh, n more newer, uh, we have a connected uh, car uh, vehicle. So um, we asked. Uh, uh, we, we had uh, we had a huge task. Uh, we started in uh, 2013 with uh, our first internal release, uh, seed stack. Uh, in um, in 2015, our CDO asked us to to put this uh, uh, this stack onto open source. It was uh, the first recognition of uh, the quality of uh, of our work in uh, internal for for PSA. Uh, we tried to do it, and with uh, the help of uh, some people we are, which are here, we uh, we did. It in uh, 2015, and uh, since uh, that time, uh, we had a real roadmap, a real product roadmap, which uh, gives us the opportunity to to join the, the open source community and uh, to join the most important patterns of uh, the open source community. So, um, what is uh, what is this stack? Uh, SITSTAC is, uh, as you, we, you told, it's, is, is a framework. It's a framework uh, helping you to develop application. Uh, it is based on Java um, and um, uh, it uh, helps you to, to create uh, mainly REST microservices, which are, the, let's say, the core uh, for our application today. Uh, you can also create a traditional web application uh, and uh, since the last year, we uh, go through the cloud with uh, serverless computing like uh, AWS Lambda. So you can have classic application. You have can have new application. Uh, all is based on um, a concept, which the it's the domain driven design, which is an innovative implementation of uh, of the object um, principles, which uh, helps you to have a, a structured, maintainable, and evolutive code, and also helps the developer to have a high productivity because he he is able to. To share his code and to especially to, to have uh, predefined objects which are uh, provided by the framework. So uh, on the bottom side of the image, you have the uh, let's say the, um, the structure of the framework. You have inside we have a Java framework. Um, uh, you have a lot of components which we call add-ons. We have a um, let's say a bundle of components to 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 deal with the most important patterns. And we have the business framework, which is a, a framework uh, at its own, uh, in order to develop your object uh, um, concept you, you want to, to put in your application. So uh, SeedStack uh, was for us in PSA uh, first uh, strategy enabled because it helps us to, uh, to make the governance of our application. Uh, SeedStack is based mainly on... Uh, on um, uh, very uh, common uh, library on the open source market. Uh, we uh, SITSTAC integrates with these uh, components. So uh, on our organization, we're able to know uh, what application use as a library. So if we have, um, let's say, um, a security patch to apply to our application, we are able to, to, uh, to know what to do and what the cost we have for this uh, information system. So we are ready to, uh, to govern and to manage our information system with the seed stack. Secondly, uh, for the purchasing side, uh, we can avoid vendor locking because we use open source, we use standards. Um, last uh, example is the usage of Java. So we, we built our, uh, this stack 
uh, on an, a real open source uh, release of Java, so open GDK. Uh, so uh, you can never be locked with the seed stock. Um, you can you can import your own uh, own uh, add-ons, but it's uh, out your own. Um, on the supplier side, so we can manage the interaction with our suppliers because uh, we all is based on open source standards, all is based on open source uh, patterns. Um, so we can uh, give them, uh, let's say, uh, instruction, uh, development side, we can uh, give them training, which is open source. And uh, when, we, when they work with us, all is done. So they, we not, not, don't need to train them in order to, to take into account our development. And uh, the last um, item is agility. As we have an open, um, open framework, uh, as we have, uh, let's say, a Linux uh, fashion platform for our, for our framework, um, uh, we can integrate easily any uh, solution which is open source in our, uh, in our framework. So, we are able, because uh, this is open, this is based on the Linux uh, um, fashion side of, uh, uh, of a core system, um, we can, we can um, follow the changes in soft, uh, software design. So if we go back in 2013, uh, we did a traditional application, uh, a CLI, a web application. Uh, starting 2016, we were able to, uh, to, to deal with uh, microservices deployed on, the, on uh, um, PaaS or CAS. Uh, now uh, we are able also to, to interact with uh, serverless uh, and uh, especially with the cloud provider. So we go, we, we go from uh, more freedom, from focusing on technical aspects to uh, a more constrained focus on business value um, ecosystem. So if we uh, take a look at the modern architecture design pattern, let's say, uh, as SeedStack has uh, um, uh, takes advantage of uh, what we call domain-driven design uh, to build uh, uh, the business of the application, we can deal with microservices uh, very easily. So we can we can finally decouple uh, uh, the different components of the application. We can deal also with uh, streaming, with service messaging, let's say. Uh, we can dealing with communication and ingestion of uh, of data in in your uh, systems. And uh, last uh, item we we did is uh, the serverless side in order to deal with uh, integration with uh, cloud native uh, uh, ecosystem. So if we take the uh, microservices, you have here um, an example of how to to uh, to design a uh, system. Uh, with some uh, microservices, you see that each microservices has some uh, components uh, uh, which provided by, by SeedStack, uh, but also you have uh, uh, different uh, resources integrated inside. So we can uh, do it because we have some releases which uh, take into account basic microservices concepts. So, uh, some f uh, features of the microservices are, uh, they must be lightweight uh, in order to, uh, to deal with performance. So, we have an, uh, a server, an embedded server, Anderto, which is integrated with SeedStack, uh, but you can also add your own server if you want. Um, all is designed around the business because we have uh, we have also a business framework inside based on DDD. Um, we have um, we can uh, answer to the AP oriented uh, feature with uh, REST integration and Swagger integration in SeedStack. Um, we are components which which uh, uh, give the uh, um, design for failure characteristic to microservices. So we, c we have. Netflix circuit breaker component integrated in SeedStack. 
Um, we can deal with uh, distributed, distributed mes messaging. We'll talk about it later uh, with uh, Apache Kafka. Uh, we deal with containers, so we can uh, we ha offer a Docker support in SeedStack. And also we can monitor our uh, components uh, by using a uh, metrics library. So all these elements uh, uh, give the ecosystem uh, for the application to, uh, to, to, to work as a microservice in a, in a uh, let's say, a pass or content as a service uh, platform. Another uh, cloud pat pattern is uh, messaging, is uh, streaming. So uh, we uh, did uh, some integration with uh, Apache Kafka. Uh, and um, we have a common, let's say, uh, uh, pattern, a common uh, use case in uh, our uh, uh, company. It's integrated data from a million of cars which are, which are on the road. So you have to integrate data from these cars into our, into our um, um, uh, internal cloud, uh, private cloud or public cloud. So, we deal with Kafka. We we did uh, some uh, um, library to to produce messages for for Kafka, and we uh, we have also some uh, library to uh, consume consume messages from uh, Kafka di di distributed streaming platform. So uh, we have all this already integrated in SeedStack, and we are able to uh, to we implemented with this library uh, our connected car uh, uh, information system. And uh, last example is about uh, serverless. Uh, this is a work in progress for us. So we integrated, uh, let's say, uh, lambdas in in our uh, um, in our packages. We are able to create lambdas and to deploy uh, directly to uh, to a cloud, uh, to uh, Amazon especially. Uh, so you are able uh, to to take your code and put inside uh, inside a lambda and deploy it, uh, which is flexible to use. You have a simple resource model with a flexible authorization, and you can also use the execution model like asynchronous, asynchronous, and stream based. But the, the um, work in progress is around how to integrate the other components from uh, how to to deal with the other components of a uh, public cloud. This is uh, uh, our um, work in progress today. And uh, let's talk about uh, our open source project. Uh, so it's open source since 2015. Uh, you can take the code now. So uh, to, to use it, you can uh, experience uh, SeedStack and can contribute to it. Uh, there is a license uh, which is MPL 2.0 uh, on this uh, stack. Uh, all is open source, frameworks, add-ons, tools, documentation, uh, and also uh, this uh, framework can be uh, enriched uh, with pro your proprietary add-on in order to create a custom uh, your custom distribution and deploy it. So. Time is up for me, I think. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, and uh, if you have questions.